Hi Wooks, this is a brand new episode about installing Windows 11 on Raspberry Pi 5, Raspberry Pi Compute Module 5, Raspberry Pi 500 and Raspberry Pi 500 Plus. I've managed to install the latest version. This is a Canary version. It's 26H1 and it's built 28000.1. Canary of course means that it is a pre-production version. It's an early build. You can be testing it right now. It's gonna probably be released in the first half of the next year. It's designed for ARM64 architecture. Microsoft has specifically built it to better support its new Snapdragon processors and NVIDIA N1X platform for graphics cards, which is also beneficial for Raspberry Pi 5 architecture because it's also ARM64 based. You can obtain it from uupdump.net webpage. You may create an installation media for home and pro variants but uh, if you want to have all the other variants you can also add them to your installation media use war flasher and area 2 tools first to make an iso file and work flasher to make an installation disk that can install windows upon itself when you've done this the next step is installing the right uefi bias to my knowledge war flasher is still not adapted to pull the latest version of uefi bios that also works on the zero chipsets for raspberry pi 5 architecture but you can do it yourself create an installation media and then overwrite the files on the boot drive with the new uefi bias the next step is obvious you have to boot from the installation media to start the installation and go through the installation steps which seems easy enough but there might be hurdles which we are going to talk about next i've installed windows on a 32 gigabyte sd card and it worked relatively well as the card was v10 which is not very fast but still enough to, to be able to run it efficiently for more extensive testing or for regular use i recommend 128 gigabytes this is the same size that i've recommended for the previous versions of windows i've used 32 gigabyte card because i was not sure whether i would have been able to install windows i was also unsure whether i would have liked the canary version but it turned out to be really great except for some minor bugs in graphics which made me think about using microsoft office instead of LibreOffice 25.8 that i'm currently using now let's talk about installing windows the first hurdle which is not fatal and you may encounter it, it's slow installation. This will happen if you have an SSD drive attached to your Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter which kind of Raspberry Pi 5 architecture computer you're using, Windows install program is gonna try to use its default drivers for PCIe M.2 connector attached SSD drive and it's gonna partially fail. Being able to find the drive but not being able to access files on it or format it would significantly slow down the installation and may also cause some otherwise unnecessary reboots. However, if you create an installation media that is capable of installing Windows upon itself, the installation will still proceed. But you may not like the graphics of the install program. You would not be able to see the usual Raspberry Pi installation screen for Windows. Instead, uh, you would just see empty boxes, which in fact would be related to the installation program being unable to access the SSD drive. What is even more interesting is that the SSD drive will even be offered as an installation disk but this wouldn't matter because it is impossible for the installation program to access it so even if it is offered as an only option then you can accept because uh, this way the installation would continue uh, the ssd drive would not be harmed i recommend this kind of installation only if you don't want to remove your ssd drive from your raspberry pi especially from raspberry pi 500 plus Otherwise, it's much more convenient to remove the SSD drive, install Windows to an SD card, and then reinsert SSD drive. Alternatively, you can install Windows on an SD card inserted into another Raspberry Pi 5 or Raspberry Pi 500 without the SSD drive. You can do then the necessary modifications for
for the SSD drive to work after the installation. And only then you can insert the SD card to a Raspberry Pi with an SSD drive, like Raspberry Pi 500 Plus. It worked for me, but it has to be noted that in this case, you would also have to activate Windows if you do have a license again or even copy the contents of the SD card to the SSD drive like indicated in this window. So actually you can move your installation from the SD card to the SSD drive. But the precondition is that you install drivers for the SSD drive prior to doing so. However, the drivers can only be installed on an already working version of Windows. This means that uh, you have to manually copy them to Windows System32 drivers directory because there is no information file for you to be able to use the ordinary installation tool. If you've liked this video, please press like and subscribe buttons and don't forget about the notification bell. If you really, really like it, then hype it as well. See you in the next video. Bye.